Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Virgo reading for December 9th and 10th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to stop around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. Okay, Virgo, you versus them. It's so number September, December. December Excuse me, I keep feeling like I have the hiccups. December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. One more shuffle. December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. So, Virgo. Some of you guys are dealing with the Twin Flame. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. I'll probably do a Twin Flame reading soon. Um, the Unexpected. So, I just heard, do you believe? Okay, do you believe in um, miracles or magic? Because you could have, I don't know, got pissed off. Someone could have snapped, cut you off, been like, screw you, bye, I'm done with you. But it's looking like someone's going to be taking action. So that's looking like that's going to change. You know, uh, with sovereignty, you know, sometimes people, we do things out of anger. So if you're like a Virgo that's on a twin flame journey with the masculine here, it looks like they're awakening. They're going to take action. To do what is right. Nourishment. Uh, let's see what this sovereignty card is. For you Virgo. So you have sovereignty over your own life. Act with grace and confidence. You have the ability to unite disparate people and views. Should you choose to do so. The buck stops with you. You are powerful. Act like it. So letting you know that you have the power. To kind of um, disperse any arguments. You know, you have the power to unite people um, that are separated. So it's like when this person comes in with the way that you speak. Sorry if the lights flickered. With the way that you speak, you're able to make sure that you guys end up back together. So Proverbs, you know, 1821, power of the tongue. The tongue has the power of life and death. Okay. So just be careful that, you know, you don't push this person away with how you speak. Because uh, with resilience here, this could have been a long journey, hard one too, okay? Or maybe you had to learn boundaries. You had to learn how to speak up for yourself. And now you're at peace and you've, you've taken that path. So it's like you've attracted this person in with the law of attraction. By doing what is right, your counterpart, see creation, you've manifested this. Is also going to um, abundance. Going to come in and create with you. Realization. You might not be realizing this until it actually happens. So this person actually comes in. Then you could be realizing like, oh, this happened exactly how I said it was going to happen. Exactly, Virgo. You have the sovereignty. You have that power. So Virgo, you versus them. December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. One more shuffle, Virgo. You versus them. December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. So family could be weighing in. You know, you could have some naysayers, okay? But just um, about the relationship, okay? But like I like to tell people, you're not dating them. Yes, I mean, you get the whole family, but you're only dating that person. So as long as that person is satisfied and you guys are both happy, don't let people um, tear down the relationship, okay? You guys may come from different backgrounds. So you guys can have different love languages. There could be some misunderstandings there. Okay, but this is a passionate romance. So this is real love here. In the center, we have hung up on the past. So try to feed yourself good thoughts with that nourishment card. You know, try to eat good things. Try to feed yourself good thoughts. All negative thoughts are from, you know bad all positive thoughts all good thoughts are from the most high from the creator so anything negative just rebuke it like not today okay leave me alone because with you it says the masculine here they're devoted to you so it's looking like they're very much on your side it could just be the family could be judging the family could have been holding this person back and now they realized, you know, not to let the family make decisions for them. You know, because if that's the case, they'll be alone. So, you guys could be trying to build a life together. But with concurrent relationships, 
twin so souls. Someone could, else could be in a relationship. But again, I feel like it's the family that's kind of an issue. And uh, you guys are learning from past mistakes. Um, there could be a lot of obstacles here um, in planning the future. But just disregard, okay? Because, again, Virgo, I feel like you have the power. Like, the ball's kind of more in your court. Because this person, the masculine and devoted, they very much want to just do what you say. So it's kind of like, I just want to be with you. I don't care what we do. Virgo, you versus them. December 9th and 10th, 2021. Virgo, one more shuffle. Yeah, definitely a twin flame thing. Four of Wands. So some of you guys are coming into union with a twin flame. Moving in. Building a house together. Talking with that Eight of Wands. They're going to message you. Page of Wands. That's a message coming in from a twin flame connection. And you have the power to push them away. So just be careful of what you say, okay? With the Two of Swords, I feel like you're not expecting it or you have not entertained this person. You have not reached out or maybe you don't have any feeling for them anymore. But that's what allows a brand new, fresh start to happen. On your person side, you know, they're making this decision. You might not even know that they're judging themselves, that they're making this decision to leave things behind, to maybe uh, leave their family behind. Yeah, because with this tower card, you're not expecting it. Okay, this person's going to go after what they want. They could see you as very sexy, very attractive, very pure. And they've had a hard time making this decision. It's been stressing them out, keeping them up at night to leave their family to have a family. Ten of Pentacles. But really prepare for the unexpected. I have another deck here I'm going to use in a moment. Um, so we'll see what other messages. So what's hung up on the past and nourishment? So try to, don't look at the past in a bad way. Look at it like, and I'm constantly saying this to Virgos. So I don't know what Virgo needs to hear this or what Virgo like is ignoring this. But I mean, I'm constantly saying this in Virgo readings. So Virgos need to hear this the most. Um, and just like that, it left my mind. Okay, so when I saw that seven, I just remembered it again with the three of wands. As you guys plan your future, try not to stay worried about the past, okay, with that three of wands. As we saw here, you guys are going to have issues planning your future because of the past. Could be because of past people, because of past things, but either way, because of the past, okay? And with this, um... Virgo, okay, try not to, and this is easier said than done, right? Because I still look at the past with, like, hatred, like, screw you for doing that to me. But in reality, um, when we look at the past, we need to look for, look at it kind of like, you know, I kind of like, what did I learn from that? Now I know better. Now I know to put myself first, to take care of myself. So it's kind of like you should be focusing on what it taught you and what you learned from it. Not what it took from you. Okay, so what good did you get from it? Like, for instance, if it's someone... Like, I've lost some friends over money, right? So, like, this one girl, she stole $10 off me. Like, ridiculous, okay? If you were that desperate, you could have asked me. I would have gave it to you. Like, make no sense. But we were the only two people in the car, so I knew she took it from me. Because I literally had said, where's my $10? And then, right before we got in the car... And then I, oh, here it is. And then we got in the car. And then right when I drop her off, it goes missing. So it's like, well, no, duh, you took it. So, but to me, the way I saw it is if it took $10 to get rid of a fake person from my life, that was the best money I ever spent. So, I don't know about you guys. That's the best money I ever spent. That's 10 bucks well spent. You know what I'm saying? If it took $10 for me just to find out that she was fake and she was going to steal from me. That was the best $10 I ever spent. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm just thankful it wasn't more. You know, I'm thankful I I could have had 100 bucks. You know, so I'm, I'm glad. So that being said, Virgo, try to pay attention to the lessons. What did you learn from that? Like me, this is the best $10 I ever spent. Best $10 I ever spent. Got rid of that girl real quick after that. <laughs> so let me see. Uh, what is the Eight of Cups Virgo's person? 
If you stuck around and hear my story, I, I appreciate you. What's the Eight of Cups? Virgo's person. So they're walking away from the lying, the cheating, the stealing to have a successful end-all, be-all family. What's that Ten of Pentacles? They're walking away from the inconsistency, the hot and cold, the player ways, because they want to move forward. In truth. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Virgo. Person. So they're going to be coming in. They're going to be wanting a family very quickly. What's the Nine of Swords? I mean, to the point where you could be telling them, like, hold on. Like, are you, like you're crazy. I mean, you can't just be coming in here like that. King of Cups. You know, I mean, I mean they're going to come kind of delusional, head all clouded, all in love. So you might have to kind of put them in their place. Like, hold your horses. That's the judgment card. Virgo's person. Two of Wands. So they choose you. They've made the choice. They choose you. So you guys are going to have a hard time planning your future because of the past. Let it go. No amount of anxiety, no amount of guilt can change the past. No amount of anxiety can change the future. Just let it go. Stay present. What's the Tower card for Virgo? <laughs> The tower card for Virgo? I just got better. See, you're not going to be expecting them reaching out. Page of Cups. Nine of Wands. And you're going to be afraid. Probably afraid to reply. Afraid to move forward. Afraid to see them. Afraid to travel. Because to you, you know the truth that they're a player. But you love them unconditionally. They love you unconditionally. You guys are just holding back right now. You could be wanting to take it slow. What's the Page of Pentacles? Virgo. December 9th and 10th. See? They're going to reach out for a relationship. And you're probably going to procrastinate. Like, you're going to see the message. And you're going to like, I'm going to wait an hour to reply. <laughs> I know people do that sometimes. So it seems like that's what you're going to do. Because you're not entirely over everything. Six of Swords upside down. Virgo. Yeah, it's like you're not sure if you still want to take this slow. Um, It brings you closure. Like you're thankful they reached out. But I don't know if you're going to talk to them. So that's up to you, Virgo. You versus them, December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. See, soulmates, as soon as I split the deck, it's at the bottom of the deck now. So definitely counterparts here. Virgo, one more shuffle, December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. See, engagement ring, your love life is, is raising to a higher level of commitment. Union, talking, see, they want to talk to you. Lightning. The sudden upheaval, change, transformation. It's like they're realizing, like, I have to talk to Virgo. You versus them, Virgo. December 9th and 10th, 2021, Virgo. You versus them. But I feel like they're right behind you. You may not be knowing it. Virgo, December 9th and 10th, 2021. Just because on your side, it's the 41 card. And on their side, it's the 42 card. So, they're right behind you. Karmic relationship. It's looking like there's still karma that needs to be balanced out here. Okay, your person. See, now it's their turn to chase you. The camera. They've learned from the past. They could have been very selfish. They were narcissistic. It was one-sided. Heart with the key. Now they realize you were the one and it was perfect. The dragonfly. Be lighthearted finding out things coming to light. Adapt, change, heal. So bingo. Prepare for a miracle because they finally figured it out. Okay. So right now their family may be weighing in. Telling them like, no, you could get better than her, him. You can get better than that, than them. You can, you know, but it's looking like they're glued on you, devoted. 
They're masculine. Okay, they're glued on you. But all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and close it out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.